Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us try to reduce the production rules of the given questions. So simplify the grammar having the production. There are this many productions guys. So if you observe clearly, what are the things that are useless? So the first step is removing useless symbols. The second step is unit productions and the okay. Sorry, the second step is removing epsilon and the third step is checking for unit productions. So in this first, let us check the first removing useless symbols. So here we are having S tends to a b. So a b b. Then what is the use of this c guys? So sorry e guys. So now let us remove the useless symbol e. So after that e is removed. Are there any epsilon productions? No. So the second step is already done. Third step unit productions. Are there any unit productions guys? Uh, yes, we are having B tends to C, right? That's capital C. Sorry, B tends to C. So in place of C, can we substitute anything? So basically C is not having any value. So it is also a no useless symbol. So we can remove this also in the single step. So the first three lines will be our simplified grammar. Fine. Okay. So reduce the grammar using reduce the grammar G given. S tends to A capital A A, A tends to S B or B C C or D A A, C tends to A B B D D A C. Okay. So if you observe it carefully, I am noticing that this E is of useless symbol. Okay. And even this C also is seems to be like a useless symbol, right? Yes. Even C because we are not using it anywhere. Capital C. Even this D. Okay. D is usable here. Okay, D tends to A D A, but it is going to an infinite loop, right? So even we should remove this also. So the final grammar will be of two lines only. Fine. So now I hope, okay, this is what I wrote, self. Self is nothing but it is going in an infinite loop. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on context free grammar and how we will be removing ambiguity, derivations, sparse trace and everything. So in the next tutorial, we will be going through normal forms. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.